Hey you guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, hey girl, hey. So today I'm super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys this super cute fall, super I guess basic at the same time makeup look and I'm going to be using all affordable drugstore makeup. So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching and don't forget to leave a like, a comment and a subscription and let's go ahead and get started. So first up, I'm starting out with the Wet n Wild Pumpkin Primer Serum looks like this I actually purchased this last year they released it around halloween time going into fall time i believe it was like a fall limited edition item so i was super excited to purchase this and it smells so good um i hope it's not expired i've already used it a few times this year so i don't think it is and it still smells so good so I'm going to prime my skin with that. I hope they're selling it again this year. I doubt it though, but I really love it. And I think they should definitely resell it again this year. Ooh, that is stinging a little bit. I just shaved my face and that definitely stung a little bit. But it feels so good on the skin and it definitely feels like a high-end primer serum. Really, really love this serum. And again, it smells so good. And as you can see... It does leave the skin feeling a little tacky, which I love. Up next, I'm gonna go straight in with foundation. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the dewy one, and this is in the shade Golden Beige. I actually used this the other day to make a reel, and I completely forgot like how much I love this foundation. This one is always one of those, like I'll use it a bunch and then stop, because I start testing other things, and then I just, I end up using it, and then I, just keep falling in love with it every time. You're gonna apply it like so. And I actually realized I don't have a beauty blender in front of me, so we're gonna blend this in with a brush. But I would usually prefer a beauty blender, but it's gonna take too long for me to go and like wash that and it's just gonna dry on my face. So we're gonna use this Kabuki brush today. This is by BH Cosmetics 116. Um, this brush is so old, it's probably discontinued at this point. One of the reasons I love this foundation so much is because it's not like a super heavy foundation. So it's not like super full coverage, but the coverage is so good on it. And it honestly really does have a super beautiful, natural, and dewy finish to the skin. Okay, so I went ahead and washed my beauty blender. I could not live without it. And we finished blending that in. And this is my winter shade, of course, which is another reason why I kind of had to go back to it. I realized my face was no longer matching my neck. So I had to go in and look for my lighter shades. Is anyone else like a few shades lighter in the winter than they are in the summer? Because I'm definitely like a good five shades lighter than I am in the summertime. It's crazy. So next up, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer. Um, this concealer actually, from what I've seen, it isn't that popular, but I honestly love it. I also did a review on it, so check that out if you haven't. Um, the only thing that does suck about it is the applicator. You kind of have to like squeeze it out. I know you're supposed to use a brush, but that's how I apply it, the way you just saw. And I actually really love it. I don't. I really did think that it deserved more love, but you know, whatever. I only did one side so that I could show you guys the coverage on this. It's like super full coverage and of course I applied way too much. So we're going to be here for another 30 minutes blending this in. I just want to quickly show you guys the difference on each side of my face after I apply that concealer. I mean, I think it's super full coverage. I love the shade. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned the shade. This is in the shade 817 Golden Natural. So very like golden undertones, obviously. And it honestly, I don't know, but it does a really good job at covering up those under eye circles for me, especially like right now. I'm like, girl, you need to sleep. So yeah, I really love it. So I'll go ahead and do the other side. I'll try to apply a little bit less. Yeah, that's probably a more ideal amount. And let's blend that puppy in. Let me know down below what concealer you guys are using currently from the drugstore or not from the drugstore. Just let me know down below any concealers that you guys recommend. Um, usually more so like complexion products is what I try to test out more often. So let me know down below. Hopefully you guys give me an idea of something I haven't already tested out. Okay, so now that we have our concealer all blended in, I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of cream blush, just a tiny bit. 
I'm gonna use this LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush, and this one is in the shade Rosebud. Um, I actually also tested this out in a different video a while ago, and I actually really like it. Same thing. I don't know, I guess I'm into this type of applicator these days, but this is usually what I do. Just put a little bit on that, of that on my cheek, and then just blend it out with a brush. And I blend that puppy all the way back. And I just like after like I set everything, the pop of color, and it just seems, it just looks so natural once like you set it and put all the rest of the makeup over top of it. I just like the super natural pink undertones that it gives. We're gonna look crazy at first, but. Also another way you can do it is actually apply straight onto the brush. I've seen some people do that as well. And one of my favorites that I have been using recently, I actually have been loving the Wet n Wild Clarifying Finishing Powder. As you can tell, I'm almost out of it, but for some reason, I don't know how, or if you guys saw this video, you know that I got two of these. I don't know if it was an accident from Ulta or I don't know, or if I accidentally ordered two, but I thought I ordered one and they sent me two. So now I have a backup. So I'm actually not upset that I'm running out. And I know like I usually I could be using a loose setting powder to do this, but I don't know why. I just love the finish that this powder gives the, to the skin. So for just the under eyes, I will take it onto my beauty blender like this and put that directly under my eyes. And also bring it down to the smile lines as well because those get really creepy on me. Also a little bit right there. Cause she likes to make a lot of facial expressions and those are not cute either. And then for the rest of the face, I'll just take this huge brush, um, I guess this is a powder brush, by Morphe M439, and I'll just dip it in there and then set the rest of the face with it. And I just really love this powder, it's really been working for me. Um, in my opinion, the finish is very natural. It also comes with vegan collagen in here, so I think that might be why it's like very natural on the skin. It's not like heavy like other powders would feel I don't know I just really like it a lot of times pressed powders feel like really heavy for me um but this one is not and I just really like it I don't know do my neck too okay so next up for complexion I'm going in with the infallible bronzer um I got this in the shade 350 I have been using this non-stop since I got it and I'm gonna go in with the Sephora brush this is the pro angled blush brush number 49 I guess it's technically for blush but we're gonna use it for bronzer and we're just gonna go over top of that just to bronze up the skin I don't know I just like over that cream blush that just looks so beautiful to me I love it you guys know I gotta get the forehead as well and then lastly my favorite highlighter um, this is the spark plug highlighter duo by milani i got this as part of the milani with juicy jazz collab that was probably about a year ago at this point and honestly just love this highlight love it love it the other one that i ordered from the other kit is a little dark for me so i don't really use it as much we're just gonna highlight the cheeks with that guys actually this is weird but lately i kind of been going without highlight a couple of times i don't know which is sometimes I just want to be like a matte goddess. I don't know. Not really matte, but just like not like super, you know, shiny, highlighty, crazy type of look. But so also from that same Milani Juicy Jazz collab, I'm going in with the eyeshadow palette. This is We Did Something. And I'm going to go in with just this shade right here. And I'm just going to blend that into my crease. Um, I've tried, been trying not to do that because I don't want to like use up just that one shade in here But it's just so good and it's just so easy to grab too like It's such a small palette. It's just so easy and convenient And I'll just apply that all over my crease I mean if you guys know if you guys know me and watch my videos, you know, I'm not like that talented in the eyeshadow department, so I usually just go for like nude natural looks and nothing crazy on occasions like on my birthday or like for a date 
Um, I'll put on some glitter right up in here, but that's about it. That's as fancy as it gets for me in eyeshadow. Trust me, like I want to do super cute eyeshadow looks. I just, I don't know, like ever since I was a little kid, I just feel like I was never one of those people that would like precisely color inside of the line. Like, no, I would be like pressing down super hard, like outside of the lines, like not precise at all. And I feel like same deal now with eyeshadow. Like I just... It's not that I don't have the patience for it. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Definitely willing to learn though. So if anybody's willing to give me a few classes, definitely, definitely open to that. So I haven't done this in a while, but for my lips, I'm gonna go in and exfoliate them with this Cookies and Dreams Exfoliator by e.l.f. Um, basically just do this right here a couple times it all around um like i said i haven't used this in a while when i first got it it was like my holy grail like i could not keep my hands off of it but girl looking at my camera it really looked like i needed it so really really love this and it tastes and smells so good and girl we can't be going out with our lips looking crusty definitely worth the extra step especially if you're going to be doing like lipstick i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lip liners she's already getting kind of small so this is the nyx lip pencil in the shade nutmeg perfect for fall so the other day i actually learned the importance of lip liner i made the mistake of going out um i usually don't carry any makeup in my purse other than sometimes a beauty blender and lip gloss i have my little maybelline backup lip gloss in my purse um and i left the house without lining my lips and i was literally in the in the car i literally i always have the the little visor thing whatever it's called i always have it open and with the mirror open and always looking at myself my boyfriend thinks i'm like crazy but i'm always looking at myself in there and like i couldn't see where my lips ended and like my chin or like my upper lip started like I couldn't see and I was like so this is why you don't leave the house without lining your lips I told him too I was like does this look weird to you so definitely learned the importance of lining the lips so not doing that again super cute super dark brown and I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild mega slicks lip gloss this is in the shade Nude Mood, and I actually, months ago I did a video testing out new drugstore makeup, and this lip gloss was one of those products, and after I tried it out, I kind of used it here and there, but I literally tested this out the other day, and I was like, new favorite. Like, I don't know, I don't know, but it just made my lips look so smooth, but glossy and shiny at the same time. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But I, just, I don't know, I really, really like it. And for being a wet and wild, affordable lipstick, like it's just like, I shouldn't even say that because it's just like, it's awesome. Absolutely amazing. These wet and wild lip glosses and lipsticks like never disappoint. And obviously we are definitely in the mood to be nude. Okay, that came out wrong. That came out wrong. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with setting spray. I have the NYX Plump Finish and i got this in the mini size from ulta when it first came out and we're gonna go ahead and spray down our face with this of course my fan is dead so i'm gonna have to do it this way so i hope you guys did enjoy this super cute fall makeup look using all affordable drugstore makeup if you did enjoy please go ahead and leave a like a comment and a subscription before you go and i will see you all in my next one